For decades, Boeing was the undisputed leader in global commercial aviation, with legendary aircraft like the 747-777, which shaped the skies. But in recent years, signs of stagnation, aging designs, and a string of high-profile setbacks have led Boeing to lose dominance to Airbus. Refusing to accept defeat, Boeing is gearing up for a comeback with an all-new aircraft, the Boeing 797, boldly claiming it will surpass the A321 XLR and reclaim lost market share. So, how exactly will this new jet take on Airbus? And when might we see it in the skies? Let's find out. Turning back to the 1980s and 1990s, Boeing dominated the mid-market with two key models, the 757 and the 767. The 757 was especially valued by pilots for its strong performance, able to take off from short runways, operate in high-altitude airports, and cross the Atlantic efficiently. Airlines appreciated its flexibility, deploying it on everything from domestic U.S. routes to transatlantic flights. The 767, meanwhile, served as a smaller, wide-body aircraft, well-suited for medium-range international routes. Together, the two models gave Boeing near-total control of the mid-market. But in 2004, Boeing made a decision it would later come to regret. It ended production of the 757. At the time, the industry was still reeling from the aftermath of September 11th. Fuel prices were low, and airlines leaned toward small narrow bodies for short-haul flights or large wide bodies for long-haul travel. Boeing assumed that mid-sized demand would shrink, so they shifted their focus to the 737 for short routes and the 787 Dreamliner for long-haul operations. But Boeing did not anticipate this. The market didn't vanish, it evolved. As fuel costs rose and airlines searched for more efficient ways to serve long and thin routes, those with fewer passengers but high profitability, demand for a modern 757 replacement became increasingly urgent. Boeing, however, had nothing to offer for aviation. Moreover, the 737 MAX disasters, prolonged production delays, and damaging quality control issues have left Boeing fighting to regain its reputation and reclaim market share. But a series of problems caused Boeing to hesitate. Meanwhile, Airbus moved quickly. In 2019, it launched the A321 XLR, an extended-range version of the A321 NEO, which forced Boeing to seek an immediate solution. With a range of 4,700 nautical miles, the XLR could operate routes like Dublin, New York, Madrid, Boston, or even Melbourne, Tokyo, all at roughly 30% lower operating costs than wide-body aircraft. Shortly after, airlines quickly showed strong interest in the aircraft. To date, Airbus has secured over 500 firm orders from major carriers including United American, JetBlue, Qantas, and Wizz Air. This smart and timely strategy clearly helps Airbus win the mid-market. Boeing realized that they had been wrong. Out of this realization, the concept of a new mid-market aircraft, what would later be called the Boeing 797, began to take shape. As Airbus strengthens its position in the highly profitable mid-market segment with the A321 XLR, Boeing's hopes may only rest on one long-anticipated aircraft, the Boeing 797. With the 797's development, Boeing could reshape the future of commercial aviation by filling a critical gap between the efficiency of narrow-body aircraft and the range of wide bodies. But is it still possible for Boeing to turn the tide? We'll have to see what the 797 has to offer. To reclaim lost ground, this aircraft will need to do more than just match the competition. It must stand out, be more efficient, more versatile, and more compelling than the A321 XLR. Let's continue, but wait up. Thanks for sticking around until here. Please show your support by hitting like, sharing, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about our super interesting videos. Thanks a lot. Boeing's concept is simple but bold. A twin-engine aircraft offering the operating economics of a narrow body. The plan includes two variants, the 797-6, seating 225 passengers with a range exceeding 5,000 nautical miles, and the larger 797-67, accommodating 275 passengers over 4,500 nautical miles. The Dash 6 is designed to surpass the XLR's 4,700 nautical mile range, allowing airlines to operate long-distance routes with fewer passengers and still turn a profit. This is something neither the 737 MAX nor even the 787 can do effectively. But can the 797 still find its place in a market where many airlines have already placed their bets 
on the XLR. While Airbus has marketed the XLR as the natural successor to the 757, the truth is it doesn't fully measure up in several key areas. That's where the 797 comes in, with the potential to be the aircraft airlines have truly been waiting for. First, it would serve as a much needed replacement for aging 7, 57, and 767. Airlines like Delta are still operating 757 well beyond their intended service life because there simply isn't a modern alternative. Second, the new aircraft promises significantly lower operating costs thanks to its composite airframe and next generation engines, up to 40% cheaper per trip compared to traditional wide bodies. Third, it opens the door to entirely new route possibilities. Think of underutilized long haul markets like Pittsburgh, Manchester, or Austin, London. Not quite busy enough for a 787, but perfectly suited for a 797. Finally, its twin aisle layout could position this aircraft as an ideal candidate for cargo operations, although Boeing hasn't yet confirmed any freighter variant. Beyond that, the 797 is expected to be a platform for cutting edge aviation technologies. Engine options could include CFM's Rise Open Rotor concept with 20% higher fuel efficiency, GE's Advanced Turbofans, or Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan. Notably, drawing from the Dreamliner's legacy, the new aircraft would also feature a carbon composite fuselage, making it lighter, stronger, and more fuel efficient. Next, aerodynamically, Boeing could introduce innovations like laminar flow wings or hybrid electric systems to future-proof the design and meet upcoming sustainability standards. Finally, in terms of passenger experience, it would also raise the bar. With a wider cabin, larger windows, and optimized cabin pressure and humidity levels similar to those on the 787, it would deliver a comfort level far beyond what narrow bodies can offer. This is a level of flexibility that not every aircraft can offer. However, Boeing's recent track record raises serious concerns. The 737 MAX disasters, resulting in two fatal crashes, a global grounding, and billions of dollars in losses, severely damaged the company's reputation. Furthermore, the 787 Dreamliner has faced persistent production issues and quality control failures, leading to delivery suspensions and increased oversight from the FAA. The 777X program has also suffered repeated delays, now pushed back to at least 2025. Even Boeing's space division has not been immune, with its Starliner spacecraft encountering significant technical setbacks. Given this backdrop, airlines have every reason to be cautious before committing billions of dollars to the 797. They require concrete proof that Boeing can deliver a safe, reliable aircraft on schedule without the controversies that have plagued its recent programs. Meanwhile, Airbus has already brought the XLR into operation, with hundreds more deliveries expected by 2030. Even if Boeing were to launch development of the 7th, 9th, 7th today, the aircraft wouldn't enter service until the early 20th, 30s, giving Airbus a near decade long head start in this critical market segment. Boeing's only real chance lies in making the 797A clearly superior product. If it offers longer range, lower operating costs, and a better passenger experience than the XLR, then airlines may consider making the switch. But if this aircraft is not superior to what Airbus already offers, the competitive advantage will remain firmly in Airbus's hands. As global air travel is projected to grow significantly in the coming decades, this new aircraft may represent more than just Boeing's recovery. It could redefine the economics of aviation itself. With passenger demand expected to double by 2040, airlines will need aircraft that are not only more efficient and cost-effective, but also flexible enough to serve both established long-haul routes and emerging markets. The Boeing 797, purpose-built to fill the long-overlooked middle of the market, could become the backbone of the next great expansion in commercial aviation. Offering a strategic balance between range, capacity, and cost efficiency, it has the potential to reshape how airlines operate medium and long-haul routes in the decades to come. The 737 MAX crisis dealt a heavy blow to Boeing's reputation. Years of delays, lax quality control, and intense regulatory scrutiny eroded trust from both airlines and the flying public. But the 797 represents a rare opportunity, a clean slate to reset expectations and rebuild credibility. If Boeing fully commits to a ground-up design that incorporates the latest safety technologies, lightweight composite materials, and next-generation engines, it could prove that innovation and reliability are not mutually exclusive. More importantly, 
a successful new jet program would show the world that Boeing can once again deliver a game-changing aircraft, on time, and without the missteps that haunted the MAX. Such a move would ignite a new competitive front with Airbus, which currently dominates the mid-market with its XLR, but if the 797 offers longer range, greater capacity, and better economics, Airbus may be forced to respond with an upgraded model or an entirely new one. That kind of competition is a win for everyone. Airlines gain more options, lower acquisition costs, and improved flexibility. Passengers enjoy better cabins, more non-stop routes, and potentially lower fares as carriers compete for market share. The 797 could even push Airbus to accelerate its own innovation, ensuring the next decade of aviation is defined not by stagnation, but by smarter, more efficient aircraft. So what do you think? Do you expect this new aircraft? Let me know what you think, and see you next time.